Welcome to the challenge between Deb over at Paper Licensum and myself, Peg, here at Two Old Crows Mixed Media. You will find the link to Deb's video in my description as well as on my end screen. What you will see us create is an accordion fold journal or accordion fold of some kind with the theme of nature. This is the cover of mine. I hope you'll stick around and see what I create. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two All Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to Deb's channel, Paper Lace and Some, as well. The thumbs up help promote our channels on YouTube. We appreciate the comments, so let us know what you think of this challenge. We like to read through your comments. To get started, I have three sheets of 8.5 by 11 white cardstock white cardstock. I'm going to score that at two and a half inches on each sheet. This is how I'm going to create that accordion fold and I want the accordion folds to be two and a half inches. Now as you know two and a half inches leaves a little something on the end so I'm going to cut off that little excess and we will get started with creating our accordion fold. I also didn't want all of the pieces, so I used two and about two to three folds out of that third, third sheet. Now I'm just gluing them together with glitter glue to create one continuous accordion fold. Now, of course, you could use a bigger sheet of paper. You could make less accordion folds. It's up to you. But this is, this is what I chose to do. Now that I have my accordion fold created, I'm going to fold over the corners on each of the four sides because I want to create a thinning edge on the end to tuck down inside my cover. So now that I have that done, let's create the pocket at the bottom that's going to hold some tags in place. And I'm just scoring along the edge of that in line with one of those fold overs. So I'm going to score on one side. Now that I have that scored, I'm going to fold that up, crease that fold into place, and now I have the pocket that I will be tucking tags down inside, or each accordion fold has a pocket. I'm going to trim off that top folded over piece don't need that so we'll just get rid of it and there we have our cord our accordion fold just trimming up you know a little mess that i created when i cut that off now i want a little thumb indent here so i'm measuring the center to make sure i get that appropriately in place and I'm just going to cut a little bit out a little bit more and now that I have that done I'm going to place that on top of the other edge and pencil around it so we have them in the same location on both ends so there's our accordion fold let's set that aside and create the cover now to start, I want to mark one quarter inch in and I will fold the other side to that quarter inch mark and do, turn that around and do that again the other way. That gives us that little quarter inch spine in an easy way without having to go and score, etc. Now I'm just cutting that off so it is the same height as my accordion. And now I'm marking one quarter inch from the center and folding the edges into that one quarter inch. This will sturdy up our little bucket booklet and help create the pockets to drop that accordion down into. So now I'm one quarter inch again and I'm just going to trim those off. That will prevent anything sticking over the edge and just kind of clean it up. So we're just making, making a little trim mark on each 
of those folded in pieces. Now you can see how that accordion fold, how that booklet will slip right into the edge of that accordion fold and create the outside cover. I'm marking the center and creating a little slit because that is where I am going to pull my sari silk through to create the tie. And I just marked that halfway. So now let's decorate this and then we will put it all back together. I'm going to start with the gold, add some bubble wrap, a little cardboard for line definition, I'm going to let that dry, and once that is dry, I'm coming back with parchment color paint, and I will pull those colors with hopefully the gold on top onto our accordion. And there you have it. Let's do that once again, the gold paint. Mark it with accordion or with bubble wrap and come back with a piece of cardboard that I've stripped so you see the corrugation. And we'll continue to print until we get that accordion completely covered. Once again, the gold, the bubble wrap, the cardboard, waiting for it to dry, laying down the parchment. And a little bit of brown. We're doing the cover now. And I just took the stencil in for the brown. Well, I'm sorry, we're not doing the cover. We're doing that pocket. Because I wanted that pocket to be darker. So there was some definition between the pocket and it would stand out to let you know that there was a pocket there. So there, now we have our pocket in a darker color. I used uh, raw umber is the color that I utilize for that. So I've used gold, parchment, and raw umber. And now I'm just inking with a vintage ink around all of the folds and outside edges of the accordion. And there, that's what happens when it is complete. So I think, I think we're starting to get something that looks pretty good. So let's work now on the cover. I want it to be congruent with the rest of the things we've done. So I'm utilizing the same printing technique, the gold, the bubble wrap, the cardboard, letting that dry, coming back in with some parchment. Just a thin layer of the parchment and I'm gonna let that dry as well. And once that is dry, we'll pull in the raw umber and add a dark tone to the cover of this book. There it is. A little stencil. 
lay that down, grab the cover, and let's pull that up. I'm just adding a clean sheet over the top to make sure I get some really good contact, and I really like the way that is looking. So we will go back and do that until the cover is complete. I've cut two circles out of a toilet paper tube, and I emboss them. Now I am painting them with that parchment. And now just highlighting with some of that foundry wax. And now we'll dry to set that foundry wax. And now we have a nice little relief on these two little circular pieces of toilet paper. I want to glue them together to create a little more substance out of them. And this is going to be what we tie off our sari silk with. I'm marking the center so I can poke the hole through it to accept the brad. I'm going to grab a gold brad and just stick that through the center. And that is what we will be attaching it to our cover with. Now let's pull the accordion together. Make sure that fold is up. Let's take a look at the stick the cover into the edges of that accordion. And now let's poke our sorry silk through. And just make sure we have enough. And once I get that through, I'm going to glue that sorry silk down. And now I'm going to glue the flap on this back shut to cover up that sorry silk. Let's trim it off to make sure it doesn't peek through. I'm poking the hole in the front cover to put our brad in. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to glue that flap down to cover the back of that brad. I'm just making sure that I have it in the right place. I'm attaching the accordion to it and poking it through the accordion as well. That secures the accordion in the cover. And now, to finish it off, I'm going to add a couple of little beads to the end of the sari silk. Just knotting it to hold it in place. Just inking around the outside edge once again. And now we have our accordion booklet finished. So we have all of these pockets with nothing in them. And I'm thinking about creating, um, well, there I'm just putting a little piece of sorry silk in to, to kind of make that all um, finished off on that inside edge. It looked a little raw to me, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little piece of sorry silk there. And that looks a little more finished.
Just glue that in place. And now we have the booklet finished, but to kind of secure those accordion pockets, I just put a thin piping of glue along each fold. And that just prevents it from flapping open in there. I keep saying we're finished, but I find one more thing, one more thing to do. So now we're ready to fill those pockets. So let's just measure what size, ta size tag we need, get those cut. And I want my tag to be about a quarter of an inch in on each side so they will come in and out of those pockets easily. Just going to give it a quick measure for width and height. And now cut my cardstock appropriately to fit down inside there. There we go. And once all are cut, I'm taking my slit punch and just giving each a little slit at the top and some rounded edges. We'll lay some parchment down, bubble wrap, and get all of these little tags with some color. And we're picking up the remnants of what was on the gel press from before. So you're picking up some of the browns and picking up some of the golds. Now I want to add my nature theme in. So I'm laying pieces I have pulled from my garden. That's a red maple leaf. And I'm laying that on my gel press where I have put black ink. And I'm just laying it vein side down to really get a good impression of each of these leaves. And I pulled out a bunch of different ones. Here is what we have. I used asparagus fern, things from my butterfly bush, my maple, um, the crepe myrtle, whatever I could find. Now I am looking up some nature quotes and am just handwriting those to cut out and put on the back of each of these tags. And I'm using my micro tip pencil. And to add some color to that, I'm utilizing the transparent gold and just dabbing it across. And we're getting a pretty good coverage there, and you can still see the quote. We spray on some vintage photo spray, distress ink spray. Just kind of dab that up. And I think we're good. So let's cut those quotes out. And we'll cut them just right along the edge where, where we wrote the quote. Glue them to the back of our tags that have the nature on the front, nature quote on the back. And nothing's ever finished without a little bit of the liquid pearls. So I'm adding some definition with liquid pearls on each of these little tags. And there they are. All, there they all are. And we'll set those aside to dry because the liquid pearls will smear if you, if you get rambunctious. So now that they are all dry, I'm going to glue them down to the back of the tag. Add a little bit more definition if I didn't have any before. 
And to finish them off, I'm tying just a simple, small little piece of black ribbon on each to match the black imprint we took with the leaves. And that completes it. So here is the book. You open it up. It is an accordion fold. And each pocket has a tag with a print from a leaf out of my yard and a quote about nature written on the back. So it is a quick, simple, easy little project with an accordion fold. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will watch Deb over at Paper Lace and Some and see what she created and how she interpreted the accordion nature inspired accordion fold piece. This is mine. Once again, I'm Peg with Two Old Crows Mixed Media. This is a challenge with Deb over at Paper Lace and Some. Here is the link to her video. Please go watch her and subscribe and give her a thumbs up. Appreciate it greatly. Bye for now.